Former UFC champion Chris Weidman is unsure where Tyron Woodley goes after being knocked out by YouTube boxer Jake Paul. Woodley rematched Paul after losing a split decision in August, but was finished in the sixth round via a brutal overhand right. Woodley has now lost six bouts in a row, including four straight in MMA. Even though Woodley has made a lot of money, Weidman thinks he has damaged his legacy in combat sports. Damn, Tyron Woodley is going to have to live with that, they're just comparing him to Ben Askren now. He's not going to get another chance. That's it. I don't know who he's going to fight that would give him the draw and excitement that he would need to elevate him back to where he would feel like people gather behind him and think he's legit again. I think his legacy has definitely been tarnished, which sucks to say. For Jake Paul's next bout, Weidman would like to see him fight someone his own size. Paul has been calling out numerous UFC fighters. But since they are still under contract with the UFC it is difficult for them to actually happen. For Paul's next bout, Weidman proposes one of his former rivals. I would love to see him fight Anderson Silva. He's calling out all these fighters with UFC contracts. None of those are really going to happen at this point. The UFC would have to get behind it almost like a Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather type match. But unless you're drawing in $500 million like the Mayweather and Conor McGregor fights were doing, the UFC's not doing that because they want to split it. They would split it, but if it's not that type of money, they're not doing it. So we're wasting our time even talking about Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal, and Kamaru Usman. Hit the subscribe button and share this video. We'll be uploading several times a week, sharing the latest MMA and fight news with you. Let us know what you think in the comments below.